Hello. It is so exciting to be back. I'm actually like a little bit nervous. It seems a little bit weird being back here after not being here for so flipping long. So I, will, I can see lots of you jumping on already. Hello to everyone who is jumping on to our weekly Instagram live. For anybody who has, <laughs> has seen that I haven't been around, um, I am going to explain all about it. I know because there's going to be loads of you. I've had so many messages coming through saying, am I going live tonight? Everyone's been missing my Tuesday night lives. So I'm going to give it a few minutes for everyone to jump on. And then I'm going to explain a little bit about what's going on and what's been going on and everything else. And today we're going to be talking about making sales on Instagram. So this is going to be a super duper live. We are going to be doing um, like and share competitions throughout for you to win access to VIP as always. So if you know somebody who wants to use Instagram to grow their business and make more sales this festive season, then you need to invite them in. We will be doing a giveaway at 100 shares on Facebook. And you guys over here on Instagram, you can use um, the hashtag shared when you shared, do a screenshot, let us know in Instagram stories that you have done this. So I can see that there's a few of you jumped on now. So I will get started with tonight's live. For everyone who is joining me, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. For those of you that are new, let me know, is this the first time you're watching me? And hello to all of my regular viewers, because I can see you all jumping up. My hardcore fans that are here every single Tuesday night with me and make my whole week worth getting through. So for anybody that doesn't know who I am and that is watching this for the first time, and the reason that I say this, because we do have lots of new viewers, but we are literally hitting every single corner of the world with Mums in Business Association right now. We are literally in that many places, I can't even begin to tell you. So let me know where you are watching from and if this is the first time you are watching or if you are a regular viewer, I can just say we have, we've just launched in Norway last week and we have Norway watching. We have our coordinator of the Norway watching. So that is super, super exciting. So for anybody that doesn't know who I am, my name is Estelle Kieber. I am one of the co-founders of this incredible organization that you guys are a part of, the Mums in Business Association. It is a community now of over, I don't know, we have a social media following of over 180,000 people and we are just over two years old. So we are connecting thousands and thousands of women on a daily basis. And that's just a little part of what we do. So I am here every single Tuesday night to share my Instagram tips and tricks with you and tell you everything about what's going on behind the scenes at MIBA HQ and what we are doing to help you ladies next to grow your business. I can see there's loads and loads of questions coming through, so I'm going to scroll through them in a minute as well. Let me know where you are watching from. And like I said, we are going to be doing a giveaway. So you will win three months worth of VIP. So for anybody that doesn't know what VIP is, it is a members only area where you can go and access trainings. They're bite sized trainings that you can watch. They're not like hour long trainings. You've got to fit in around your life. They are on trainings, everything to do with your business from blogging, website design. There are 10 in there on Instagram. So if you are interested in learning about Instagram, this is the giveaway for you because there are 10 trainings in there. Our trainings usually are between 10 and 20 pounds each. There's 10 in there, okay? And you will get access to all of these trainings for free for three months if you win our competition. So we will announce a winner when we hit 100 shares on Facebook. So you guys know what to do. Let me know when you've shared. Share it out, share it out, share it out. And you guys over here, we will pick one winner at random if you share using that little arrow icon. And then you have to screenshot, let us know that you have shared it. So now I've explained to everyone who doesn't know who I am, who I am, and you guys that do know who I am can clearly see I am back with energy that I've been saving for the last two weeks. So I haven't been here. It has been an insane couple of months. And before I get into all the Instagram training, I'm gonna to explain to you everything that's been going on because I have learned a very, very valuable lesson the last couple of weeks. And it has drove me mad to not be here doing my weekly Instagram lives with you all because you know how much I absolutely love being here. But we had Marbella. So for anybody that doesn't know, I got engaged earlier on in the year and my amazing sister threw me a hen party in Marbella, which lasted two days. 
And then we had the Mibar writing retreat where we had eight amazing women come to us um, and spend two days telling their stories, getting it out onto paper, ready for our next book, Rise of the Mumpreneur. So not only did we have that, we had like six speaking events in three days before that. I come back from Marbella, then we had the Women in Business Association, no, Women in Business Expo, um, which was my first ever keynote speech. So I do loads and loads of presentations all over the place, but this was my first ever keynote speech. So it was like a lot of like nervous anxiety and excitement and everything all rolled into one. So we had all that going on. And then a few days before the Women in Biz Expo, I started to feel a little bit ropey. I started to feel a little bit like unwell. I'd been feeling a bit stressed anyway. And then the morning I woke up for the Women in Biz Expo, I felt like I was actually going to die. Every single part of my body hurt, my throat hurt, my lips were dry, I couldn't swallow. I felt so unwell and I knew that I had an obligation to get up on that stage and deliver the speech that I had been planning for for so long. So I did it and it was absolutely amazing. I got to meet Karen Brady and I got to meet Michelle Moan. Both of them were absolutely the most loveliest down to earth women you could ever imagine meeting. And it just made me feel super inspired to continue on our MIBA journey, no matter how stressful it gets. We know that we're doing it for a bigger reason. And that really like hit something in me whilst I was there at the Women in Biz Expo listening to people speak. So after that, all the like adrenaline of speaking, I drove home for five hours straight. We like hit road work. I ended up like being stuck in traffic for five hours. And I got home the next day I woke up and literally I didn't know what was going on. I felt so poorly. Like I felt like the day before, but like 10 times that I wanted to cry. I literally felt exhausted in myself and I have not felt that way for a really, really, really long time. And you guys know how hard we work. And I'm always banging on telling you, you don't get things the easy way. You've got to put the hard work in to get the good stuff at the end. But I realized I went to the doctor and I, and I never go to the doctor either. So this is when you know that I'm sick. So I went to the doctor and they said that I had a viral infection. They hooked me up to stuff. I was having chest pains. They said I had a viral infection. And the only thing that they could do for me was send me home and tell me to rest. And the quicker I rest, the quicker I would get better again. And I actually said to them, I got dead upset and Chris was like absolutely shocked and horrified when I said to them, if I was Kim Kardashian, you would give me something that would make me better. And he looked at me and he went, no, you just need to go home and have some fluids and rest. And there was nothing that they could do. And I was thinking, it doesn't matter how successful you get in life. If you become sick, there's only so many things that money can buy for you. And I came home after listening to these incredible women speaking about working hard and busting their balls to everything and I had a chat with a few close friends who said to me that now was the time to slow down before I actually stopped without having a choice and that was massively difficult for me because you all know I am a control freak now this doesn't mean I don't trust Leona I trust Leona to run the business and I know that she would make an absolute like success but I feel that I have to have control over certain things. And so that part of me was really difficult to, you know, to like battle with because I wanted to be involved so much and I didn't want to step back. But I knew that if I didn't, that I was probably going to end up really, really calling. It's actually taken me two weeks. You've are like, I've not been here for two weeks. So it's actually taken me two weeks and I'm feeling much better than I was I'm not back to how I was and I like do you know what I've realized that I don't have to be sat working for 18 hours a day for MIBA to be doing what it's doing it was just this crazy part of my brain that's like addicted to work so I wanted to share this with you all because I know how many of you out there will be feeling exactly the same that you just can't stop because if you if you stop everything's gonna like come tumbling down do you know what the, the thing that you need to do is plan and prioritize and I know, like, trust me, I am one of these people that have to-do lists as long as my arm. But with these simple things, and I, like, don't profess to be anyone perfect. And that's why I want to share this with you, because I'm learning as I'm going all the time. 
And I didn't think I would get to this point where I literally thought, oh my God, what's going on with my body? It was just not behaving in a way it should be behaving. It was just letting me down. So I wanted this to be a little wake up call for you all that you have to listen sometimes. And I am the most pig headed person when I have like, I'm stubborn when it comes to it. But I realized that it was time to kind of step back a little bit, have a little bit of time to relax and chill a little bit. And so that is what I wanted to share with you all. That's why I haven't been here for anybody who hasn't seen the posts in the group. Um, I canceled a lot of trainings. I canceled a lot of speaking events because like I said, I had to prioritize myself. And I will be totally open and honest with you. Some of the responses I got from people who I canceled trainings with, who I couldn't do speaking events for, they weren't very sympathetic, shall we say. And it upset me a little bit at the time, but now I've realized that the people that were pissed off with me for not being there were not the people that really cared about me because the people that really cared about me are the people that are saying, it's good and step back and chill and we've all got your back and we're gonna be here no matter what. So I just wanted to share that little bit of wisdom with you all. I don't know if it's wisdom, it's probably just me waffling. But I wanted to share with you all, that's why I've not been here. I haven't abandoned you all. I've been so wanting to come on, but literally even now, my voice is straining. Like I keep getting like glandular pain. Is it glandular pain? Swollen glands here? They're still really swollen and I'm not feeling my best. But I am feeling back on track and that is why I wanted to be here with you all tonight. And I am now going to talk to you about what's been going on at MIBA in the last couple of, well, last couple of days we've had the awards finalists announced that was a biggie okay so if you haven't got tickets to the awards they are happening on march the 7th next year it's going to be the most incredible incredible event not only are we going to have the award ceremony we're going to have entertainment there's going to be food it's going to be very glamorous it's going to be absolutely amazing and congratulations to all of our finalists you can find out all the information for that on the website what else has been happening we're up for an award tomorrow. So Leonie's only just flown into the UK tomorrow. And obviously I've been unwell. So we have been nominated for an award tomorrow. I think it's called the Business Something Awards. That's really bad of me. I'm going to check what it's called because I've got it in my diary. That sounds really bad. I'm going to tell you exactly what it's called. It is called the British Business Awards. And it's being held in London. And neither Leona or myself could attend. But we're super excited about it. So we will keep you updated on that. But most importantly, right now, the Instagram challenge is happening. So the free Instagram challenge, which we do, I don't know, probably four or five times a year, that is happening right now. It's a free challenge that will help you with consistency. It will help you with prompts on what to post every day. And it is free for you to join, okay? So it starts on Monday. It lasts for seven days, but you can catch up at any point, okay? You just use the hashtag MibberOct. Challenge. I keep getting that confused. It's not October, it's Mibba Oct Challenge. And if you want to go and see everyone else that's joining in with the challenge, just go over to the hashtag and you can search through there and you'll see what's going on. Um, it has been insane. We have had over 1,500 people sign up to the Instagram challenge. So if you are looking for a little bit of support with your Instagram, then the free Instagram challenge is the one for you. But we also have a paid private group training okay so this is what i'm going to talk to you about about making sales on instagram so I, i'm going to sit here all day and tell you how amazing my instagram training is but literally i don't know 15 minutes before i came on the live tonight i was just going through some of my facebook notifications i was in the group and three different people have followed the training for two days they have taken new photographs using the tips that i've given them in the group and three different people have made more sales. And I mean more, like one person has sold um, a 40 pound bottle of gin. So basically the 10 pound that she invested for the course has paid back four times already and it's only day two. Um, somebody else, when I seen at the time, had sold five boxes of fudge. And then by the time I came on the live, I think they'd just said they'd sold like another four. So anybody that's thinking, does the Instagram training work? There you go. There are tips and tricks ready to get you up and running for Christmas, okay? Somebody has just posted there, Claire has just posted, £10 for a week's training is amazing. There are seven videos 
it's a private Facebook group, okay? You can do the free challenge and you can do the paid training at exactly the same time, okay? The free challenge is basic tips and a prompt. The private training is in a private group and that gives you the videos and access to all of the community members at the same time, okay? So, super excited about that. Another thing that I wanna to talk to you about is, do you have a product? Would you like to get it in front of thousands of eyes this Christmas? If so, you need to be using the hashtag MIBA Xmas gift list, okay? If you have a product or a service for sale this Christmas and you use that hashtag, we are using it like a gift guide, okay? So you know when you go to like Boots and you pick up the gift guide and it's got all the gifts in? We are doing that, but online, on Instagram, okay? So anybody that's looking for a present this Christmas can go straight over to Instagram. They can look at the hashtag Mibar Xmas gift guide, gift guide, yes, I said that right. And you will see all of the other gifts that people have for sale, okay? So it's like an online gift guide, but you are also supporting other Mibs at the same time. So I am super excited. People are already using the hashtag, which is amazing. And I've already seen some things that I'm gonna be buying for Christmas this year, simply from going to that hashtag. So it just goes to show, if I'm going on there and seeing stuff I wanna buy, you need to be putting your products on there and you need to go check it out as well because you know, you're know you gonna find loads of cool Christmas gifts that you might not find anywhere else. So, shall we have a look through some of, in fact, I've not done the giveaway. Did I say I was gonna do a giveaway? I don't even know what I said. Did I say I was gonna do a giveaway? We will do a giveaway 100 shares. We will do 100 shares over here on Facebook. You guys over here, you need to share and you need to do hashtag shared and do a screenshot. And shall we do a giveaway at the end? I want you to tell me what is your biggest takeaway from tonight's live, but it has to be a picture of me holding the book, okay? At some point. I will hold it up again before we finish. Screenshot it. So I'm gonna go through some of the questions let me know if you have shared this, where you are watching from, if you are a new viewer. So we'll start over here on Instagram. Let's have a look. We've got people watching from everywhere. Nottingham, South Wales. Somebody has asked, is the challenge, is the new challenge for people selling physical products? It can be physical products or it can be a service as well. It doesn't matter. Either way, the challenge will work for you. I can see Cheshire Bass has shared. People are watching. Who was this? Missed the Tuesday Night Live last week. I wasn't here last week. Like I was explaining, I was really poorly, but I'm glad to be back. Leicestershire, Rex and North Wales, Presswich. We are all over the place. Screenshots taken. Thank you all so much for um, for all your support and, and get well wishes and stuff as well. I know a lot of you that did know that I wasn't very well. Um, you've sent me oils, you've sent me gifts, you've sent me cards, you've sent me lovely messages. So I really, like, really, really do appreciate every single one. I know I don't get a chance to go through and like everyone's comment and reply to everyone. Um, but this is what I'm talking about, about prioritizing. So just because I'm not there liking the comment, doesn't mean that I'm not appreciating every single time you comment or send me a message and everything else. Self-care is so important for your mental and physical well-being. It sure is, mate. It sure is. And I feel so much better for doing it. I honestly do feel so much better for doing it. Um, I've had a two day blah, 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 blah. I've had a two day migraine. Um, but today I feel absolutely like much better. I, I feel so much better, honestly, I do. So Everybody needs to be at the awards. Yes, they do. When I hear people saying they're too busy for self-care, I want to scream that if you don't, your body will force you to. Yes, that is right. Da, 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 da. Same thing happened to me once. I was getting Christmas orders out, three hours sleep a night, and I crashed and burned. I was so poor. Led. Viral, the same thing as you. I had to work through it. It was so hard. Yes, it is really, really hard. And I don't even know if Mr. Mibber is watching. He said he might go and like, watch me upstairs. A little bit weird. But if he's watching, he's taken very, very good care of me. So for everybody that, you know, knows he's here, he's been like running around, faffing around after me, making me honey and lemon and everything. He's a good one. 
Claire says the Instagram challenge is amazing. On my other account, it's gone crazy. I'm loving it. So like I said, people have seen more sales. They've seen a rise in followers. They've seen a rise in engagement. And it's only day two. So you can still join the paid training and the free challenge. Um, and you can catch up at any time. So and if you're in the paid training group, the private training, you can catch up at any time. And then the group's open, I think, for another two weeks afterwards. Um, after the training finishes. So even if you don't have time to watch it this week, it will then be open for another two weeks after that as well. Somebody has just said, if you don't join, you're crazy. Um, saw an ad today for Instagram training, local to me, one hour, 100 pounds. Now, that being said, so I would not knock Instagram training because I have one-to-one -one trainings where I work with clients on a one-to-one -one level and it's totally different. So it totally depends on the sort of investment that you have at the time. And we understand that as mums in business who are just starting out and you don't have a lot of money to invest, the Instagram challenges and the private Instagram trainings, they're 10 pounds, okay? It's affordable and it's something that's an investment. You know, it's not like, a hundred pounds you've got to find it's 10 pounds it fits in with your life and you know for all of the content and stuff that you get in there i guarantee you it is well worth 10 pounds ask anybody whoever is on the live right now i can see that there's loads of you on the live if you are a part of the instagram training private group let me know what you think but in the comments i'm coming over to facebook to answer your questions in a minute as soon as i've finished over here so Laura has posted the link for the Instagram sales training. It's also in the link in bio on our Instagram pages, Estelle Keeper Official and Mums in Business Association. So um, you will be able to go and join there too. Um, used it today and had questions about what I have already. Brilliant. See, this is what I mean. Once people start using it, so we've only started using the Mibber Xmas gift list today or yesterday, one or the other. But still, there's interaction on there already. So Cheshire Baths, who makes the most amazing bath products, shout out to them because I absolutely love their products. Go and check them out. They're using the hashtag and they've already had people asking about their products simply from using that hashtag. So there you go. Just letting you know it works. Hello in Brighton. Hello in Denmark and Bolton. Hello in London. I feel like that person on um, What's That Game Show? where they're like, hello in Denmark, hello in the UK. Eurovision, I feel like I'm on Eurovision. It's quite cool. All of these places that we have MIPS in absolutely blows my mind. Herefordshire, Cheshire, everyone's saying that they're loving the Christmas gift list. Loving those close-up shots I just got. Laura, oh my God, I forgot you were there. She's so cheeky. Laura Bland. For anybody that doesn't know, we have this like funny thing going on on a Tuesday night where Laura tries to screen grab the ugliest screen grab she can get of me and then she shares them into her Instagram stories. So for anybody that wants to go and check them out, she is Laura B Fitness. Is that right, Laura? Um, you can go and spam her and she always does a caption this, which is always quite funny. So not only do I educate you, we also give good humor as well. We provide you with everything here at Mibber. Janine says, your help with the hashtags has got me fast tracked to sales. That's what I'm talking about. So let's see if there's any questions over here on Facebook. Let me know if you have a question you would like me to answer because there's been loads of updates that have been happening over the last couple of weeks. We've talked about loads of them, the new AR features where you can find the different products. We've talked about the new anti-bullying features. We've talked about the new dark mode. So if anyone has any questions whilst I'm on here, then please let me know and I will be happy to answer them because I know I've not been around for ages. So if you have any questions, then drop them into the comments and I will let you know. I can only share as a video party, which I've never seen before, but I've shared either way. That's what I'm talking about, Danielle. Just share this out everywhere. People want to know about Instagram on every single page on Facebook. So Danielle has said that she loves work as well. Yeah, it's not just me. This is what I mean. This is why I wanted to tell everybody what's been going on and how I've been feeling. I was literally like stressed fuck. I can't lie. Like I literally felt like my body was just giving up on me as much as my brain wanted to work. It was just all giving up. So like, I don't want you all getting sick, especially not at Christmas, man. Especially if you've got kids, you don't want to get sick. So, you know, hey, from a Black Bear concert, I can't hear you, but I've shared into Mibba Cornwall. That's what I love. That's dedication from our coordinators there. Everyone's loving the Christmas gift guide idea. 
everyone sharing hello in Spain and Suffolk and Blackpool and Wiltshire oh my goodness it makes me so proud to know that we have MIBS all over the place working from your bed lots of horrible bugs around yes there are um, the Insta challenge is my favorite so many people are loving the challenge so if you haven't signed up you can sign up for free on the website www.mumsinbusinessassociation.com there's also a link in the bio and you guys over on Facebook will be able to find it all over the place we've got it in the page and the group um, yeah so go find it we'll drop the link into the comments as well Suzanne has said for 10 pounds it's an absolute steal yes it bloody is so is there any last questions before am I I'm having an early night as well my first Instagram live back and I'm getting an early night Wow, we this is great. We need to catch up on the challenge. Should I post one a day or all on the same day to catch up? Three days. Glad you're feeling better. I'm in Ireland. Okay, so you can catch up at any point. You can post them all at the same time. That's not a problem. We will still go through, check them all out. I'm so excited. Like literally, the first day was meeting you guys, which is super, super important for your Instagram account. And this is one thing, like a lot of the feedback that people have been saying is, I never realized that I have to be a part of my Instagram feed. Now, I'm not saying you personally, your face, like straight up selfie or anything, but you need to let your personality show. You need to let people know there's a person behind the business because that's what people will relate to. So day one was getting to know you and it was so wicked to go through all of the Instagram October challenge and see all of you amazing people and learn more about you. And then today it was where the magic happened. So we were sharing out pictures of our workspace and um, all of the amazing places that you guys get to work from it was super funny i think who shared a picture of like their kid was under the desk it was hilarious they literally got their phone and they were showing the desk and then they like moved around to under the desk where the baby was sitting under the desk it was like total mum life at its best and i wanted to give that lady a high five for just multitasking like a mofo while the kid was under the desk it was absolutely hilarious so I think that's it it's good to see that I'm back happy that I'm back thank you so much I am happy to be back and I'm happy to be fitting well and healthy so that I can be here as always every single week again does the Christmas gift list work with network marketing yes of course it does it works with any products or services go and check it out it's on the Facebook page or you can find out more over on the website Shared into Wakefield. Good evening, Adam. Jumping in there. Liz has said, love the challenge. Shared a little bit of the puppy this morning. Behind the scenes, I saw it. You were walking and you shared your behind the scenes. This is where you're, you're working from whilst you're walking. I've seen it. Super cute with Rolf the dog as well. So, I guess that's it for my first Tuesday night back. Nice and relaxed. If anybody has any questions, feel free to drop me a DM. You can join the challenge, the free the free challenge and the paid training um, over on the website you can join go to the events section of the website you'll be able to find it there or you can find a link in the link in bio on Instagram you guys over here on Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube you will find the link in the description so we have one last giveaway with the book okay so screenshot that's it chance is gone so I want you to share the screenshot of me holding the book. Let me know what was your biggest takeaway from tonight. Are you excited? Are you a part of the challenge? Do you want to join the challenge? Do you want to know more about making sales on Instagram? Were you at the Women in Biz Expo? Did you hear me speak? Talk to me. Drop me a DM. Love for you all to connect with me. And it's been great to be back. So if you don't see me before, you will be seeing me next Tuesday when I will be back with lots more Instagram tips and tricks, less of the sad news about me being sick, and we will all be back to normal, hopefully. So, good night from me. I hope that you've had an amazing Tuesday, whatever you've been doing, and I will see you all next week.